Right now, you are looking at a live picture from the nation's capital where just a few hours ago, Donald John Trump was sworn in as our 45th president of the United States. An estimated 800,000 people made up of both supporters and opponents attended today's inauguration ceremony in D.C. So far, police have arrested nearly 100 protesters. Authorities say the protesters damaged vehicles, set small fires, and destroyed property. President Trump made his way to the White House just moments ago. Channel 5's Alex Schreck in Washington for today's historic event. Alec. You're taking a look right now at the parade, live action right there. Now, just a few minutes ago, the Border Patrol rolled by Ruben Garcia riding that horse rooster that we met just the other day. There's been all kinds of people here from all over the place, a lot of interesting folks. We actually met a couple of teachers, one of them a school teacher, SJ, here from Memphis, Tennessee. Yes. What are your thoughts? Well, my students asked me to be here today to represent them. Um, there's 100% African American and well, 99% and the rest of them um, at ESA teacher as well. Um, my students are worried that they're going to get sent to Africa. My other students are needing counseling right now because they're so worried going to meet their parents. I mean, their parents are going to be deported. And I'm angry for justice for myself as an LGBT person and as a sexual assault survivor. Um, so I'm here for the Women's March tomorrow, and I want to witness this today. Um, yeah. Whole, whole lot of that, lot of protests earlier. Matter of fact, this was a lot less well attended than Obama's uh, events were here. I was here, a quick look back over here for a second. Walk over here behind us. Let me show you something real quick. Now, at those inaugurations, you see here they have a fence. They didn't have a fence. And if you look behind us, the crowd actually stretched all the way up there. It was jam packed. The bridges, even coming into the district, were also packed. Now, let's meet another teacher over here. She's actually a college professor, Gail from North Carolina, I believe it is? Yes, Charlotte, North Carolina. What's going on with your students? Well, I'm a college professor and I represent minority students and I am very upset by the fake news that was a big part of this election. As a professor, my job is to teach people how to think critically and write well and I think there was a lot of false information. I'm also very concerned that they're learning that someone, a president, should use tweet as a form of communication. We need to be technologically savvy, but there's a presidential way to be, and I don't think it's a good role model for my students. I came for the Women's March tomorrow. I grew up in a family. My mother was a women's rights advocate, and so I'm here to represent human rights are women's rights. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Now, there's certainly many views. A lot of the folks we spoke with, they absolutely love their new president and support him, but obviously that's not everybody's view. Stay with us. We'll continue to bring you more next hour. For now, we're live from the nation's capital. Alex Streck, Channel 5 News at 4.